What's up guys, Video Game Guru here with the guide for Black Ops 2. This is the high IQ achievement which requires you to collect all intel. Now your first one is going to be on the first mission and it's as soon as you take control. Go forward and a little bit to the right you're going to have a tree there and a downed um, vehicle and to the right of it is intel. Now there's three intel on each mission and they're not overly difficult to get um, and you don't have to do any jumping through hoops or anything like that. It's just a couple are a little out of your way and but really not that difficult. Um, I'm doing this on recruit. recruit, it's easiest to just go around and pick them all up. The next one is once you board the barge after the chopper goes down, go up onto the second level and on the left hand side behind the canister it's there. This next one is on the same mission, Pyrrhic Victory, as you're running away with woods. After you pass um, about two encampments, you're going to come across an area that has three towers. If you're facing your enemy, the tower on the far right hand side has it. On the next mission, you're going to get to a point where you've got some air vehicles in front of you and one blows up and you're supposed to access the other. If you go behind the one you're supposed to access, there's the little room you can get your thing. Later on in the mission, you're going to get to a point where you've got a staircase you're supposed to go up. And if you look just to the left of it, you've got an office and it's on the desk in the office. Took me a little while to find the door. The last one on this mission is just after you talk to the scientist, uh, they're going to breach a door. And my recording was a little messed up, but you're going to go through this door and you can see it there on the right, now in the middle, now on the left, and it's just on the back um, table. I have a couple recordings here where they got a little glitched, but I still show you exactly where they are. And then on the next mission, uh, after Woods talks to the Arab guy, you turn to your right and it is on a box of crates. Later, as you leave the base, um, this is another one of the messed up recordings, you're gonna leave the base, and if you go straight out ahead, um, you're gonna see a rock right there, um, if you go back, and it sticks up kinda like a spear. And to the left of the rock is a red flag, and right at the base of this flag, you can see the flag there, it's skipping all over the place. The next one skips as well, but you're gonna get to a point where You've got a objective marker in a bunker, and the bunker's got mesh over it, and it's got a red flag. And if you're looking at it from here, you turn the, as you go up the staircase, you turn to your right, and you're going to have a big open cave next to you that you can't go in, but laying in its mouth is the next um, intel. On the mission where you take control of Menendez in brutality mode, you're going to enter a barn, and on the right-hand side, at the end of the barn, on a crate, is an intel. Later on in the mission, when you take control of your seals again, you're going to approach the house, and as you're approaching it, on the right-hand side is going to be a bell tower. So once you break through this open area, turn to your right and climb the bell tower. About halfway up the bell tower, you're going to have to jump off the ladder, and I don't know why, I just didn't go straight to the bell tower. Anyway. About halfway up, you're gonna have to, you're gonna get off the first ladder, and then as you climb the second, you're gonna have to jump off after one level because it is in between. It's right there on the crate, kind of hard to miss. The last one on this mission is, as you're clearing the basement, you're gonna pass through a coke room with a massive pile of coke on the table. I wish you could shoot it and see coke fly everywhere; it'd be like flour. Anyway, so you're gonna enter the coke room and. Before you proceed to an area that's got flames and a whole bunch of enemies, go to the room at the back left. Yeah, there's a coke. Go to the room at the back left, and it's going to be at the back of the room, I believe, on a bench. Yeah, right there, next to a bucket, pail, whatever. The next mission. Um, this is at the beginning when you when you see section taking fixing the claw. And Section, as soon as he gets his control back, um, on the right hand side there are uh, shelving units, and if you just go over to the shelving units you're going to see exactly what you need. Later on in this mission, if he will, if I, there we go, later on in this mission you're going to get to a point where you've got a bus barreling towards you and you've got to open the door. Now. When, once you open the gate, as soon as you get through the threshold, you're going to get up, yada yada, Harper's going to sound like Michael Rooker. I don't know, is he voiced by Michael Rooker? 
Who knows? I should probably look. Anyway, so you're gonna stand up, you're gonna get control back, and before heading straight where you've got a light and a dog running by and a whole bunch of down people, turn to your right and you're gonna see a red sign and underneath it is the intel. Uh, the last one on this mission is as you're escaping the choppers, um, at once you get out of the flooded street, you're gonna enter uh, what I presume to be a wrecked building, and as soon as you get in it, Harper turns right, Instead, just walk a little bit more straight. You can see the glowing orange from pretty far away and pick up your intel. The next mission is Karma, and once you use the retina scan to get into the server room, it is at the back right side on a desk. And he's gonna, he's gonna flash, you're gonna go in, you're gonna take out people because we're Navy SEALs and that's just what we do. Of my suppressed weapon that eats ammo like crazy and you're gonna have an elevator like thing in front of you with a whole bunch of screens on the left and it is on the right hand side next to a computer later on in karma um, you're gonna be fighting in the mall now you're gonna come out to this point you're gonna see a big cafe sign if you look straight go down on the first floor and go down the right hand side it will be in the first area of stores on the right, the second store. Um, and it is called, I think, DHO or something like that. You can look up and see the, yeah. So you're gonna have to kill one guy in here and then it's at the back left um, by the desk. Lastly on this mission is as you're chasing DeFalco, um, you're going to clear the first area and move into the second one, and if you just keep moving down the right side, you're going to come across a rock that looks just like the one I just looked at, and it'll be on a computer desk on the right-hand side. On the next mission in the past, we've got Suffer With Me, and you're going to drop in the Skylight. Now, if you've got uh, the access kit, I would suggest going and getting the flak jacket, especially if you're on a higher difficulty. Um, I, don't, I suggest always having the access kit as one of your three perks. It's extremely useful and in the later missions um, can offer opposite routes and even ways to uh, control turrets so you can kill enemies without having to blow ammo and almost die. But you're going to get to a point where you enter a room and you have to go down a staircase on the right hand side. If you just look to your left you're going to have intel on the desk. Later on in this mission, uh, we're going to get to a point where we're leading Noriega, and on the if you stick to the left the entire time, you're going to come across a w wall with that graffiti, and if you just go in the building, it's right on the left. Uh, lastly, again, leading Noriega, um, this is right after you get ambushed. If you just go straight when you're supposed to turn left, as soon as you get control again, you're going to find your last intel. Uh, the next mission is Achilles Veil, vale, and this one is at the very beginning after the failed assassination attempt on Menendez. Um, if you cross the square and go to your right hand side, there will be a door with some small steps leading up, and it is on the first floor of the building you just entered. Later on in the mission, um, after... I'm not going to say it, spoilers, but after you get control of your seals again, um, this is pretty soon after you're gonna make your way through some corridors and then you're gonna turn this corner and you're gonna have arches on your right and a window on your left and you're gonna be about 40 meters from your destination if you go in the building with the window and not click the wrong button because you're so used to halo uh, it's behind some ammo crates on the left hand side of the first room I did that a lot just wrong buttons as soon as I started playing halo anyway so later on in the mission you're gonna get to an area where it's kinda like sandy path and you're gonna pass, at the very beginning of the path is a building on the right, and about at the end of the path, before you cross the bridge, is another building on your right. If you go to the back of the second building and climb the ladder like I just did, it is next to a fuel tank. And then try not to kill yourself when you're jumping down. Again, so used to Halo. Um, next is on the mission Odysseus. Once you get into the bridge, if you stick to the right hand side after you pass the meeting room, after you pass the meeting room, come on me, move it, there we go. After you pass the meeting room, you're going to have an outer area where you're supposed to go to activate the computer. Clear out the enemies and on the right hand side of the computers is your next intel. I like how they glow orange, makes them really easy to see. Later on in the mission, 
And you're going to come to a point where you go down a whole bunch of stuff and you enter kind of a gray bluish room. That's the color. And there is a staircase going down that has a big red hue. If you look to your right, you're going to have a staircase going up and that will be your second intel. The next one is once you get to the flight deck, as soon as you get up, make an immediate right and you're going to have some open ships. Now, go to the second ship and it will be in the side door of the ship. Our next mission is Cordis DA, and this is just after you um, drop down, repel, and you're gonna have the president on the right hand side and immediately go left and start working your way up. You're gonna get to a point uh, pretty quick where you've got a police motorcycle and a burning van. Um, on the other side of this burning van is the intel you need. Now, I immediately repelled at the beginning of this mission. I'm not sure if sniping makes this intel missable so please post in the comments if sniping works fine if not repel um, later on in the mission you can get to a point where you got to take out some claws you got some buses on your right and on your left you're gonna see hot dog stands um, head into the building to the left of these hot dog stands and go all the way to the left of that building against the wall and behind the desk you will see another intel Later on in this mission, you're going to get to a point where you approach a mall. You have these big plaza downtown signs and just move. Once you get inside those signs, you go right under them. Love that weapon. Um, go left to the sign that says shops at the plaza and go all the way up to the top of the escalator and spray a sniper rifle and shoot him in the dick. There we go. Right. Move forward. Go all the way up to the top of the escalator, and if you stay to the right hand side um, on some shelves at the very bottom, you're gonna find the next intel you need. Yep, just underneath some t shirts. Finally, um, we're gonna go to Judgment Day. This is just after you get down. Um, you're gonna climb a big staircase, and if you go immediately right, you're gonna see building number 27. That's what you want. Head into this building, and the intel we're looking for is on the second floor. Just gotta take out the MG gunner and all the camel guys. Yep, it's on the back end of the room. Next is moving up into the control room. You're gonna go up to the third level and pick up your intel. The recording was a little fried, so that's why it was quick. But it's the third level once you get into the control room on the left hand side. Next is when you get into the octagonal like server room, go down to the bottom level and just start doing circles of the bottom level and it, it'll be on the outside next to some crates. And there, you'll unlock the achievement as you beat the game. Thanks for watching, I hope that helped. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.